You're watching the Press Row. I'm Jenny here with Barry. And we're talking all football this week. Let's turn to the locals. Barry, let's talk high school football. And we had just a terribly unfortunate situation here last week. You were off at Michigan uh, watching the Cowboys play Central Michigan that night, Thursday night. Millwood was supposed to play Star Spencer at Star Spencer. I mentioned Central Michigan because it plays into the whole story. The guy that was supposed to assign the officials is Cameron Doolittle's father. He uh, was in Michigan for that Central Michigan game. Finds out that the referees aren't at that Millwood Star game like they were supposed to be. Then the game starts and he loses cell signal. You might have experienced some of that yourself. He doesn't know what's going on and lo and behold, no officials show up. They have to cancel the game. Just a horribly unfortunate situation for those guys at Millwood and at Star. Yeah, and you know what? The whole thing speaks to me. I don't know who to blame. I don't. The whole thing just shows a lack of concern over administrative oversight, uh, and that's with Oklahoma City Public Schools. And it just—it's uh, a recurring theme. Uh, things just aren't batted down as much with Oklahoma City Public Schools as they are. Uh, at the other school districts around the metro. And, uh, you know, the, Millwood was not interested in rescheduling because of a lot of peripheral things going on, most of them financial. Um, it, to me, it's a shame that you couldn't come back and, and uh, play the game on Friday or Saturday. I mean, these guys, if you're a high school senior, you got 10 Friday nights or, or 10, 10 games uh, in which you get to celebrate your senior year of high school football, and then one is just snuffed out for no good reason at all. Barry, so, that's eight. If you if you think about the regular season of, for high school players, game clock time is eight hours of football. Is all they get on the clock in a season, and you you lost, you know, a tenth of that. You lost forty eight minutes of that on Thursday night. Just horrible situation. Now it does sound like that. There, this may spur some changes in that oversight, like you mentioned, that uh, there may need to be better checks and balances to make sure that this doesn't happen in the future. But once again, it's a situation where, um, you know, you've got Oklahoma City Public, as you mentioned, you know, they're on the hook. But again, a season that ends last year with officials in the crosshairs with the Douglas Locust Grove situation, suddenly officials back in the crosshairs, uh, their role in all of this. and. Uh, the Oklahoma City Public Schools saying they were told it was a Thursday night game. The officials saying we thought it was Friday night. Just a big mess and continues that that really uh, bad taste in a lot of people's mouth about football officials in this state. All right, be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.